Hey, everybody, we are here with the NA East number two champion, Mr. Idol, current also Capcom. Reigning a defending exactly. <laughs> Capcom Cup champion Idom. But also, as you mentioned, yes, the NA East second qualifier. Number one, we'll just start out. How you doing, my man? The tournament is over. The, the season besides the finale is over. Has that let some stress come off your shoulders? Uh, so as the tournaments were going on, I mean, I was pretty pretty uh pretty down i didn't win the first one uh silly me for switching to uh lore in that set <laughs> but um i'm glad i was able to take the second one it was uh it wasn't really getting to me mentally but like i felt like i was kind of like a bit out of shape because i practiced a lot for the first one and i didn't practice as much for the second one of course that's <laughs> the way it works <laughs> yeah but I mean, it's interesting. You mentioned that, you know, uh, silly you for switching to Laura in the, I mean, this one in the top eight today, we didn't even see you play Laura at all. Are you in a position right now where you almost kind of feel like poison is your main and Laura is a secondary? Uh, so I, I had a, I had a discussion with, uh, St. Cola. I know he frequents <laughs> over there and St. Cola said he was going to find me every time I play Laura during this CPT <laughs> event. And I was like, you know, Unless it's Rog, unless it's Rog or Cammy, I mm. feel like I can just play Poison all the way through. And that's how I got this far. I think, I think he kind of helped me out, to be honest. Nice. That's good, yeah, that you kind of just relied more on the Poison. And to me, you know, watching your NLBC recently, uh, Grand Finals, up against Arturo, where you played the Laura, and then watching here, where you played the Poison, it really feels like, as Laura, the onus is on you a lot of the time in the matchup to make something happen, right? Whether it be like a hard read on a good jump in or elbowing through a normal or whatnot, while Poison, it seems like a much more stable game. Am I reading that correctly? Yeah, so the problem, the problem with Laura right now, and like, you know, I, I love playing Laura, I like, I think the character design is great. The problem with Laura though is like her offense, V shift hurt her offense so much. Mm -hmm. When with uh before, like when you hit like, you know, common block, I mean common uh cross medium kick in the elbow, it was a 50-50. But you know, 50-50 is like calling heads or tail. Now mm -hmm. I feel like I have to call what number is gonna roll on a dice <laughs> yeah. when I when I uh what you call when I get a hit and like that's kind of hard like saying it's going to land on three and then it lands on five is like yeah, it's too, yeah. Easy, too difficult now it's interesting so obviously in that last grand finals match i mean you lost the first round and then just rattle off six rounds straight and i was saying on commentary it's felt like early on you kind of discovered that ex heart raid and the mix-up <laughs> game afterwards was really shaking Rushdown, were you intentionally going to that mix up repeatedly just because you were kind of sensing that it was more damaging mentally than actually like character life damage? So when I use poison, at least I'm just trying to make sure I don't explode as weird as that. <laughs> as long as as long as I don't explode playing poison, I feel like I'm fine. So honestly, when I use poison, I always do EX heart rate to kind of force the V reversals out from people. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind really getting like pushed away full screen. But the problem with him, he never V reversal and he kept <laughs> taking the throw. So I'm like, oh, you're just making this easy for me. So that was really kind of how the matchup played out. I see. Uh, trying to kind of bait out a resource by using one of your own, but I mean, man, just didn't do it. So it's all <laughs> yeah, right, yeah right, he, right, he was okay. confident. He was confident in the Aegis. So I was like, hey, I just got to survive Aegis, it looks like. And, and that makes sense for sure. So, you know, considering you've been an expert on poison lore, you've had so much success. And I think a lot of people do hold you in a higher regard than even a lot of top players. Do you have like anything consciously that you recognize that kind of separates yourself from the people that are just right below your level? Uh, I think it's just not like I said, this game is just don't explode. This game is literally <laughs> just don't explode unless the character is Abigail or G. I don't think you should be exploding at all. You can mitigate a lot of the, the risk taking. <laughs> yeah, and you know, the person that qualified out of the region with you is Punk, right? Your uh, partner in crime, your rival across the, the decades, space and time when it comes to Street Fighter V. Are you excited to do probably something with him considering what's <laughs> planned for the season finals? So, uh, like, you know, me and Punk play. Yeah. It's, we played, like, uh, probably, like, a million times. Mm -hmm. I really hope, I like, not, like, I really hope with the CPT final, like, even not even just because it's me and Punk, I want to see like more matchups because I feel like even last season it was kind of the same matchup because like no disrespect to 
the uh no disrespect to brian he's definitely one of the people i've been playing with very frequently i don't want to watch brian get washed by rob again <laughs> <laughs> i'm not trying i'm not trying to see that again <laughs> oh i can't wait to see it <laughs> oh i like that i like that answer for sure all right i've messed with that well that's a, you... I just got one more question. Like people always talk about you and Punk rivalry, you and Punk rivalry. There was, you know, the scenes where you know Punk was yelling with Gustavo in the back, you know, and he was propping you up and everything. And it seems like Punk really kind of, you know, lives lives in the rivalry. But you you seem to be very nonchalant about. It. Do you consider yourself you and Punk rivals, or is it just you know another opponent for you? I think it's it's um he in fighting games he like he, he wants to be the best in every every fighting game he play. When I play I'm just like I'm trying to have a good time. I think uh Rob said on no neutral when I play uh I just try to make it a one player game. Now I feel like now that I heard Rob say that, now I feel like thinking about the other fighting games I play I was like man in every fighting game I'm trying to just make it a one player game <laughs> I remember how you played an incident I, um, I, it's definitely, it's definitely the case. I remember but uh yeah so like I feel like I'm just trying to I'm trying to I guess make it a one player game and Punk's trying to be the best so I think it's, it's different goal I, I'm not trying to be the best I'm trying to just play my one player game yeah I, I definitely get that and to me it really speaks to both of your personalities right and kind of where your motivation comes from honestly everybody is taps they, everybody taps into their energy differently I'm right just, I'm just gonna say it Idom is Ryu and Punk is Ken <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think that's a, I think that's a decent analogy right there and you know they're a rivalry because we've just seen them oh, yeah. face off in the final so many times right so even outside of their personal interest in it it's just these are two of the best in the world and they've played so much that we have to consider a rivalry as fans but i, I love hearing your perspective on an item it's always great to just see like i think that really does come across in your stellar nature yeah I and mean, i guess the one last question that i have you know you you obviously are the reigning champion uh you know but we haven't heard a lot about like you know after winning, you know, gotcha oh. like got a house and everything. Yeah, and all yeah. this, like, how has the championship actually changed, you know, your life and you know and and changed a lot of stuff around you? So, like I said, going into that Capcom Cup, like I said, I wasn't expecting to win. I didn't know what to do with the money. I've honestly, <laughs> I I still have it. It's just I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> yeah, I remember it had to be at least a year ago at this point that someone asked you, have you spent any money from it? And you said no. <laughs> so is, is that like pretty much still the case? Like that is a ma majorly still sitting there? I, I have not used I feel Man. like I've had chilling. Did I chilling? Did I tell you, Idom, that you're my favorite player <laughs> in the whole world? I definitely did not slander so, your name in the audio test. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to end this interview so we can get Idom to sponsor a commentary team. So. <laughs> Oh man, no, but seriously though, congratulations again. And Thank you know, you. honestly, just do I domination. I mean, that's the best nickname <laughs> why, considering yeah. uh, how that grand finals went. I mean, that was just an absolute clinic. So, uh, congratulations, definitely proving that you deserve the championship, you deserve this qualification, and so uh, you remain as one of the greatest in the world. Yeah, and uh, we just want to take this up moment to give you the floor, right? Give you your shout outs or however you want to sign the people off. Uh, all right. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. I'm glad uh, I got to play in the CPT online. Uh, shout outs to uh, every, all my fans. Shout outs to uh, Xset. Xset, I forgot the new mm -hmm. sponsor. Of course. Shout out to Xset and shout out to uh, all the fans of the game, uh, fans of my play. Shout outs to all you guys for uh, keeping the scene alive, alive during uh, COVID and these pandemics. Yes, sir. Would it have been possible without all the fiends at home viewing every time I'm a fiend <laughs> myself? So I love seeing it. Once again, congrats, Idom. Glad to see that he is the qualifier for NA East 2. Incredible play. As always, James, that was a definite sick top eight. Sick events throughout all of the CPT. It has just been awesome. So we've been lucky to be a part of as much as we've had. Thank you all for joining us. Once again, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and we'll see you soon.